Hi there guys, it's Pip here. So just a very quick message today because I've got family around. Um, so it's Sunday before a bank holiday and it's pretty rainy as you can see. And um, so today's message is just about commitment. So this is the thing I've realised because I'm at a major, major crossroads in my life. It's all just to do with commitment. You can choose whichever path you want, but you have to be really serious to commitment um, and committing to whatever it is you choose. See, when I was at school, I don't know about you, but we did tons of different subjects and you didn't honestly really have to commit. You know, you just turned up and um, the teacher taught you and you just kind of wrote down what they said and then you regurgitated it in exams. And that was kind of it. You didn't have to too much... Um, digging outside that really you didn't really have to uh, yeah you had to kind of apply it but they kind of taught you how to do that anyway so they kind of gave you the answers um, and you don't really have to commit because everything's set up for you your schedule's set up for you um, your homework schedule's set up for you everything's set up so you just you just go along with it just go along and I think then what happens when we get to the outside world is <laughs> we become employees and we're told we have to turn up whatever time that is, hopefully you've got a stable job, I've got a really rubbish job at the moment which is terrible shifts, and we don't know when we're working, any of us, um, and again you just go along with it, um, and again you don't really have to think, you have to turn up and just do what they tell you. Um, when you're an entrepreneur you have to think differently, you have to be more present and more aware, you have to um, just have that sense of commitment you have to create your own schedule and that's really difficult um, and what I would say is do what we call reverse engineering so figure out what you really want and um, for me it's actually not to be an amazing entrepreneur it's actually to live a very peaceful life and work backwards from that you see I don't really care how I get there um, I've got to be honest with you um, but I need to at least commit to that idea so first of all get an idea of where you want to go and then commit to the idea and then you can work backwards. Um, if you've ever listened to Tony Robbins, who's a massive uh, motivational speaker, actually a lot of them say this, um, is to get a goal first, don't think about how you're going to do it. Get your goal first, commit to it, and then work backwards and things will turn up. A Tony Robbins story, if you don't know by the way, is um, he was making, you know, he, he was overweight basically, didn't come from a great family, um, I don't know whether he suffered childhood abuse, something like that. It was in a very uh, nice environment. He left his family home anyway. And um, he um, really hadn't created his life how he wanted it. He was making less than 3000 a month. Dollars, that is, not um, pounds. Um, I'd love to be making $3,000, £3,000 a month um, in the UK. But um, he, And he basically started to set some goals and he spent... I think it was uh, quite a number of days um, writing down goals, literally writing pages and pages and pages and pages about what he wanted to feel emotionally, socially, physically, financially, in terms of relationships, um, in all aspects of his life. And he basically decided he wanted to earn a quarter of a million in a year. Um, and he did, he did. He changed his life, so from less than 3,000 a month to quarter of a million a year I think he got stretched in a limousine or something within six months it was insane he took massive action um, but it all started with him getting really really clear spending pages and pages and pages writing it down and then being like right that is really what I want so that's the first step and um, that's the point I've got to get to I know what I want but I've got to decide now that I'm going to commit to it then work out what the steps are so I hope that's been helpful and I'll see you tomorrow you take care bye now